Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Rosa White, CFO and founder of DR Fortress. Rosa, welcome back to Hi. JSA TV. Thanks. Well, DR Fortress has had huge growth and success since the last PTC event. We're gonna talk more about that in just a moment, but first, if you could tell our viewers about DR Fortress. Sure, DR Fortress is located here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and we are the largest data center and cloud services provider in the state. And we also service the only commercial internet exchange. As a neutral data center, we provide connectivity and actually cloud computing services to our customers uh, from local telecoms and ISPs to international carriers that service Hawaii, the US mainland and international. Well, Rose, I mentioned just a moment ago that there's a lot of excitement and growth that's been happening at DR Fortress, including the addition of DR Fortress Cloud Connect. And it's all to better serve the businesses of Hawaii and enable their global reach. So can you tell us more about that? Sure, we're actually really excited about the Cloud Connect service. It's the first of its kind for Hawaii. So what we've done is we've built a dedicated connection for our customers from the DR Fortress Data Center in the Honolulu facility to the Equinix Cloud Exchange in both Los Angeles and the Silicon Valley facilities for uh, redundancy purposes. So our customers can select uh, virtual ports and connect to any of the public clouds that they wanna connect to. Uh, our customers are connecting to Google, AWS, Azure, and also con public content providers such as Oracle or Epic for our healthcare customers. Uh, the reason that it's an important service to be added on Honolulu is previously customers have only been able to access their public clouds through either the public internet or a very expensive uh, you know, point to point connection. So with this, our customers are able to have a dedicated connection, which is a lot more secure, uh, a much improved latency and if they need to connect to multiple providers or redundant providers, it comes at a fraction of the cost. So it's a great service to Hawaii. Wonderful. And besides having Hawaii's uh, only on-ramp to the public clouds with DR Fortress Cloud Connect, DR Fortress is growing in a lot of other ways. If you could tell us what's the latest on the expansion of your world-class data center in Honolulu. Yeah, well, we are uh, just finishing up our latest expansion of 125 cabinets and about a little under one megawatt worth of backup power for our customers, mostly serving high power density requirements. Um, the expansion is located uh, adjacent to our existing facility because we're located outside of the extended tsunami zone and outside of a flood zone, which is very important and a critical decision factor when selecting a data center in Hawaii. Uh, we are going to be ready for service on Monday February 1st, so just around the corner. And we have um, a couple of anchor tenants that are providing both cloud and content services. So uh, just meeting uh, their need for a private custom cage and high power density. So um, it's the perfect requirement, just meeting what our customers need. Very exciting, just around the corner for sure. Yeah. Well, with the, with the just being the only the largest and only neutral data center and cloud marketplace in Hawaii. How is DR Fortress helping position Hawaii to be the next frontier edge? Well, it's really interesting how a lot of business kind of are positioning themselves as edge providers where Hawaii being one of the most remote locations in the planet, I've always been an edge provider per se, but really um, there's now over a million eyeballs in Hawaii and as the state of Hawaii and really the outlying businesses in the Pacific Rim become more dependent on cloud computing services or pushing or delivering content, DR Fortress needs to be there and ready to provide the infrastructure needed, the connectivity needed, the, our, our cloud marketplace where they can pick various service providers for whatever they need. So I need to just be one step ahead and one step closer to all those edge comes, uh, customers because they really rely on DR Fortress to be able to kind of grow and expand their business. Well, Rosa, where can our viewers go to learn more about DR Fortress and, and get more news and exciting developments on that expansion and everything else that you're working on? Yeah, we're excited. Uh, please visit www.drfortress.com 
and we have uh, new blogs that we're trying to post on a regular basis and our an, an updated photo gallery that will show our expansion. So please come visit our website. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Rosa, for your time here today. It's so sure. great to see thank you. you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.